Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I have the second of the four worldwide favorites menu special items from McDonald's. This is going to be nationwide June 5th, but this is the uh, Stroop Waffle McFlurry and I have if you look in the description down below, I'll put the links to the Grand Mick Extreme Bacon Burger and the Cheesy Bacon Fries or two of the others. And there's still the tomato and mozzarella chicken sandwich that I will be reviewing. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But now, holy smokers, it's a Stroop Waffle McFlurry. Look at all this caramel on here. You know that Stroop Waffle is from the Netherlands. That's where they brought this from McDonald's of the Netherlands. And a Stroop Waffle is a crispy cookie about this big, a thin wafer. And in between the two layers is a caramel syrup. And they usually put that on top of a hot coffee. They also put it in ice cream, so they did it at McDonald's, and now McDonald's has brought it here. And here's a look inside the top of the Stroop Waffle McFlurry. You can see over here some of the Stroop Waffle, the ice cream, the special uh, Chef Combo approved plastic spoon, a lot of the caramel syrup they also add to it. And this is the amount it was filled up to. It has not melted. And of course you have the packaging here, McFlurry. The aroma is... It's definitely a strong caramel aroma. A little bit of a, a hint of cinnamon of the waffle. See if we can bring out enough of the uh, Stroop waffle bits that are chopped up in here. They basically chop up a Stroop waffle. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, the flavor is very unique. It has, it's not really what I expected from hearing Stroop Waffle, which kind of sounds like something somebody shouts in the quarters of Castle Wolfenstein. Mein Leben! If you know what a soft baked sugar cookie tastes like, it's more like that than a Eggo Waffle. And the pieces are kind of hard when you first bite into it. They're almost like nuts. And then they soften up as you chew it. And uh, there's obviously a caramel flavor is most dominant. Both with the caramel syrup and the caramel inside the cookie pieces. And there are quite a few cookie pieces in here. But I can pretty much describe it as a cinnamon toast crunch piece wrapped in a sugar cookie and then covered with caramel syrup is basically what the flavor is. Rambo 5 is a disaster. Rambo and Mexican cartels it sounds like a bad direct-to-video movie. Nobody wants to watch a Rambo telenovela. Here's what Rambo 5 should have been. Rambo retires to a rural compound when his old enemy, the Deep State, attacks. Black helicopters land. Cyborg Janet Reno and the Cuban super soldier, Alien Gonzalez. I'm a steel soul man, Rambo, that your country made me taste freedom. Reptilian flying saucers descend when all of a sudden, 
G.I. Joe space shuttles appear and start shooting them down. At the climax of the movie, Rambo walks into the Bilderberg Conference and makes a Rocky IV speech on Infowars.com and announces the United States Space Force is arresting the deep state and new world order all over the globe. Now that is American entertainment. I'll say if you liked the caramel sundaes years ago or you liked the caramel frappe, you're probably going to want to get this. It's definitely a very caramel flavored treat. The price is, you know, we're here in the high Montgomery County minimum wage where all the fast food prices are going up. I'd like to know what it is in your area for a regular McFlurry, but this is a regular for $3.49. And I would say this looks like a $2.49 cup in my opinion. So I think they could take a dollar off the price. And of course the Montgomery County Council can greedily take 21 cents tax on a McFlurry. But I know their colluding friends at the Washington Post have been trying to help them out by getting ahead of a couple of scandals. One is that it turns out there the Montgomery County Public Schools are essentially a diploma mill now. There should be an FBI investigation into the grade fixing that they're graduating kids that are missing 47 days out of the year. It's just outrageous what's going on. The school system going down the toilet. I look forward to Bert Macklin showing up at 100 Maryland Avenue to investigate these things. But for now, I recommend you investigate the Stroop Waffle McFlurry available for a limited time. I'm going to go ahead and give this five stars. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.